famed ring announcer Michael Buffer. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for four rounds, and it's in the heavyweight division. The referee for this contest is Rudy Battle. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the solid black trunks and weighing an even 211 pounds from Hillcrest Heights, Maryland. As a professional, he's three and one, two KOs to his credit. Ladies and gentlemen, Jerry Jones. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the red trunks with gold trim. He weighs an even 218 pounds. He's also from the Motor City, Detroit, Michigan, making his professional debut, introducing Michael Bent. Okay, gentlemen, you both received your pre-fight instructions. I expect a clean break at all times. Watch your low blows. Any questions in here? All right, good luck to both of you. Let's shake hands. Well, Dave Von Temple, these guys size-wise are a couple of bona fide heavyweights, no question about it. Um, Jerry Jones is uh, a big man at 211 pounds and about well over six feet. And uh, we've got uh, Michael Bent making his pro debut again out of the Cronk stable in Detroit. And he appears to be about 6'1 and in at uh, 215 pounds. And we would look for an active first round. Hey, Bent, used to the three round distance of the amateurs only has to go a little bit longer here tonight. Of course, losing in the trials to Ray Mercer. No shame there. No gold medalist. He's the shorter of the two men and the most uh, the more active of the two here in the opening moments of this scheduled four round heavyweight fight. Boy, Bent seems bent on putting Jones out of there in a hurry. Doing, the corner. doing it smartly with the body shots and then going upstairs. What he has to be careful about is getting arm weary and spending himself here. But he's already made Jones turn southpaw, so a victory for Bent in that respect. But Jones is going to have to throw a few punches or he's going to be in the position of catching a lot of them. All right, nice left jab and a nice right hand to follow it. And that gets him a brief moment's respite from Bent, who was all over him like a cheap suit. Did I read correctly that Bent's father won the lottery? Did I read that correctly? Yes, you did. Two million dollars, please. It seems to run in some families, I, huh? I thought it was a press agent's dream, but really, in two million. Boy. Jones slips away from a series of punches thrown by Bent, spins him around, and they come back to the center of the ring. It takes you about six months to make that. Oh, time. at least. Well, that's on, on a quiet weekend or two, but. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I'd like to know where he's buying those lottery tickets. I'd have to get in there with him. I wonder if he needs any kind of a partner. I suppose he's had a few offers before oh, I got around to him, huh? Some investment strategies. <laughs> I'm sure. An investment banker or two is working on that. Well, Bent is in the red trunks, and we've got Jones in the black. So far, most of the action has been um, started by Bent, and I dare say the best of the punches have been landed by Bent. A nice move by Ben, too, when Jones missed a punch and was out of position. Bent went right at him, and though he didn't capitalize, the intensity was there, and the attempt to capitalize was there. Jones is long and lean, weighs 211 pounds. Bent weighs 215, but on a shorter frame. Gives you the impression that he's uh, much heavier. Down goes Bent. I didn't see the punch, but it looked like a right hand, Dave, wasn't it? Yes, sir. and the Boy. hidden power of Jones. It's been there in a lot of his fights. Boy, Bent is in trouble. He got up and staggered. The referee, Rudy Battle, says, how are you? Are you okay? Waves him back on. 14 seconds remain in round one. Remember, the bell can't save you. Bent's in trouble. Jones all over him now, and what a drastic turnabout this fight took from the first two minutes and change. You're very lucky to get through, and he may not get through the round. He's down again. There's the bell. The count is at three. Remember, the bell can't save him. The count's at five. He he's must get up, and then he can continue, but I don't think he's going to. Wait. No, he's not going to. He's up at nine, and no, so he didn't. He didn't, he didn't make, it. make it. Did not make it. He tried to time it and did not get it. He did not make it, so the fight is over, and it's going to be a very surprising first a knockout for Jerry Jones. He hit him with a right hand after taking most of the abuse from Bent in that first round. And suddenly, just like you'd flip a coin, this, this bout went upside down, didn't it? We were mentioning how Bent had to be wary of running out of gas because of the pace that he had here. One question not known about him was what kind of a shot could he take? 
when you look at Jones uh, in a knockout over, here it is. That's Jones in the black trunks. He caught him with the right hand coming in. And that kind wasn't a... even a big money punch. No. He, he did have the leverage going down on it, though. And, and then he goes after it again and turning southpaw. And these are not real knockout punches. They land through the gloves. You're not seeing stuff landing flush. There, the uppercut got him. Well, you know, Dave, after he went down, when he finally did get up the first time, he was staggering and reeling, and I don't think he really was uh, in complete control. In fact, the referee looked at him and said, are you ready? Look, took a long look at him. Well, Michael Buffer's ready to give us the official time and decision. Let's go to Michael. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is over with a KO at the end of the first round. The winner by knockout victory from Hillcrest Heights, Maryland, Jerry Jones. So Jerry Jones now with a knockout win in the first round. Remember, the bell cannot save you. The bell had sounded while Bent was down. Had he gotten up and beaten the uh, count of 10, he'd still be fighting. But he didn't. So Jones wins it. He's now 4-1. And, and we'll be back with more boxing from...